Aaron sighed. He thought about it. But then he looked back at the bushes and saw Haldia just staring at him, waiting for him to make a move or something. Aaron eventually sighed again. What did Meep said? Do you remember those times when you weren't there for me? Like that one time when Levi kicked me on my face back when King Doro was still in my body and kind of controlling me in a way? You try to stop um, or get to Levi so you can kick his butt, but Arm stopped you. You just didn't do anything. You just sit there and let them take me away. The same thing happened when we were younger. If I stopped you again, I believe I stopped you, and you just let. Well, Historia's father's little. Minions take me away. And you kind of never trusted me on doing my own thing. And trying to help other people. Like his story at that, at that one time. When she lost something and I was about to help her but you kind of scared her off that look. What I'm trying to say is, Mixa, if you promise to truly be there by my side when I really need you the most, and really come to my rescue, and to let me help other people, if you promise me that, then I will take you back. So... What's that gonna be, so? As long as I'm... <clears throat> Of course. I'll truly be there for you this time. And this time, I will let you help other people. You better. Because if not, then I'm flat out dumping you. In Aaron's mind, he wasn't really gonna dump her. He was really gonna take her back either way. At least said that so that way he can make me want to want to be with him even more. Or Mika hugs Aaron and Aaron hugs her back. I'm sorry about what I said. It's fine. Just don't say that crap again. Otherwise, I want to say it to you. Okay, and I may actually deserve it. The next time if Levi kicks you in the face again, this time I will. I'll be there to defend you this time. No Armin, no, no one's stopping me. This time. Thank you. Eventually, when Junior and the others were about to come out of the forest, but Gigan ended up showing up. Junior turned to his kaiju form. Luckily, they were outside of the walls. So, Junior and Gaia ended up battling for a little bit. And eventually, Junior gained the upper hand. Kind of decapitated Gigan's head. Serves you right, chicken piece of crap. Junior turned back to his human form and checked on the others. Are you okay, Junior? I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes, that's like my mom. 
Sorry. Anyways, let's just get out of here. When the others left, Gigan's head was still somehow alive. This is like bouncing around back bouncing back to his body. <sighs> Why do I always lose my freaking head? You s Gigan said in anger while jumping up and down. I always lose my freaking head. Why the head? Why the head? Why can't it be my arm or my leg or my tail or even one of my wings? Just why the head? Back at Kingador's base, Destroyer saw the whole thing on one of the cameras. Uh, Master? Gaigan's head popped off for the f for the f fifth for the fiftieth thou for the one hundredth time now. Oh my mother f oh god! If I if I had arms, I would face plant bro right now. And since I oh wait, actually I do. You know I'm just gonna face plant on the ground, then face plant by using my fake by using my freaking hand. Zeke then looked at him. You mean my and technically, your body is now my body. <clears throat> so shut up. Zeke then and felt his body gain slammed to the ground as Kingdor face planted on the ground. Then he got back up and face planted himself in the face. Ow! Ah, that's better. You know, this, this body of yours is really useful. Dude, I'm not the only human! I don't really care if there's other humans out there or not. I'm just gonna use your body either way or not. <clears throat> now. Destroya, send Remark Prime to go pick up Dub Gigant's head and body. <clears throat> As you wish, sir. Eventually, Fang ended up entering to the, to the scene. What's going on, Master? Gigan's head popped off for the 100th time. Wait, the 100th time? Yeah, his head keeps on popping off. And it's really annoying. It just keeps on happening. It's like... All the enemies... All the good guys in the whole world just aim nothing about his freaking head. Just his freaking head, I tell you. Just it's it's always his head that becomes the target. I just don't understand. Why the heck? What did Gigan's head ever do to, do to them? Besides just shooting a freaking laser beam out of his freaking cyclops eye. And I just sent Remark Prime to go pick up Gigan's head and body. Oh, okay. When Marmark Prime returned, Gigan's head was jumping up and down. Fang then saw this really weird. How the heck is he still alive? That I actually do not know. I do not know how is he still alive. Like, seriously. His head pops off a million times, and it's somehow he's not dead. Like, literally. Like, literally, a regular creature would die by that. A regular cre creature would just die like, if they had their head decapitated from their body. But not this cy- But not this freaking cyborg who just refuses to stay down. Fang looked at 
Looks like King Ghidorah, then looks like Guy again. What? You never seen? And your head, it's still being alive, and not the body? This is like the exact opposite from a chicken. Like, if you cut a chicken's head off, the, the freaking chicken remains alive, but the body remains alive, but the head is dead. This is just the exact opposite. The head is alive. Somehow. And it's still, like, not dying. But the body is just basically dead. Yeah, um... That kind of happens a lot. Kinda. It happens almost every time. Every time when you go fight someone, or a very powerful opponent, you just end up having your head getting decapitated, and somehow you're not dead. Like, I don't, I don't understand this. I literally don't understand this. How are you even alive right now? I, um... I have actually no idea. The aliens must have did something to my brain, because... I have no idea how the, the heck I'm still alive, because I should be dead right now. Maybe they must have implanted like a little device or something in my brain that just that just refuses my head to stay down. Wait, aliens? Yeah, eventually Gigan didn't used to look like this. Eventually he ended up looking like something else. I don't I don't have all the details on what his species actually used to look like, but Um, yeah. Eventually I saved his life, but um Um I kinda abandoned him after I saved his life. Then the aliens who attacked him, they came back to actually repair him. Because I attacked them, and they basically made him like this. And... He, Gideon's appearance just kind of happened to change over time. Yeah, there's still parts of my body that still kind of, well, acts like a normal living creature. Well, no crap, Sherlock, you're literally a cyborg. Anyways, um, when, before I ended up looking like this, I was originally 80 years old, and yet I still look like I'm in my mid-20s. I'm pretty sure most kaiju just look like they're in mid-20s once when they reach a certain age. But, um, yeah, but now my current age, I'm basically 800 years old. Holy, well, actually, yeah, 800 years old. Holy crap, you are one old-timer. Wait, King Ghidorah, how old are you then? I'm basically... 60, no, 80... 89 million years old. Jesus Christ, you're that old? That means you've been around here way longer than any other life form. Well, duh. That's because my species is more ancient. My species is more ancient and more aggressive. Well, I wonder why. You're, you're kind of little like destroyers. Well, I can't help it. That's how the way I was born. But yeah, I am 800 year, million years old. <coughs> so, yeah. And yet, yet, somehow, I still look like I'm in my mid-20s. Don't we all look like we're in our mid-20s?